Hi guys, I'm Nagazar Chen and welcome to my reaction for Jujutsu Kaisen episode 6. <laughs> so, in the previous episode, uh, Sukuna was having kind of fun because either he kind of just, I don't know, freaked out, whatever, wasn't feeling like it, and wasn't kind of like resurfacing. Facing, like they didn't switched, so Sukuna was doing some shit. He just destroyed that other curse like nothing, and then he fought Megumi. Yeah, Megumi is his name. And in the end, ripped his heart. Well, it tethered his heart out, and. I guess was trying to threaten Megumi with it, but Megumi, Megumi was like, he, at first I think he was trying to fight him, but then he realized, like, I mean, he's a, he's dangerous, so I guess we can do anything, and he was talking and probably Itadori awakened. And switched with Tsukuna, then he died. But, like, well, died. Like, yeah. <laughs> I really don't believe it. Especially because at the end we saw Tsukuna again. So, yeah, he's not dead. I wouldn't believe Tsukuna dying. Because Tsukuna is not dead. He can die. Because he's not whole. And... Like I said, I'm not even sure if they would be able to somehow kill him when he would when like he would be the strong strongest probably not sure about it. I don't know, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it would be that easy. Yeah. But meanwhile, we are also having uh bad guys, some curses, villains chilling in a restaurant and planning to wreak havoc, I guess. And the dude who was with those two curses said something like we need to kill Gajo and we need to we need Sukuna on our side. Which like okay, I don't know who who do who you are. What do you want to do? I guess a war? Kill all the sorcerers? Which makes sense. They are definitely going, uh, he is going, like, cleverly with that, which I'm glad for, that they are using their brains, or at least he is using his brain. I don't know, is he human? Is he not human? He looks very human, but Sukuna also looks very human, even though he apparently had four arms, but still looked human, you know? Few arms more, or legs, or hats. But he still looked human, so yeah. Other like curses doesn't look much human. Like that curse Sukuna was fighting had human shape, but yeah, that's kinda all. <laughs> so I wonder what they will be doing. I guess that restaurant is fucked. I, I, I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Not at all. And I wonder what Tsukuna is going to do. Is Itadori still there? I think so. I think so. He is still alive. Right? Makes sense. So, I guess we'll see. I should start watching this already. Okay. Actually, Itadori, not gonna lie. Nice body. Which is kind of weird because he's lying on a... Okay, whatever. <laughs> ah, my morbidness. Okay, now we are... This is a weird imagery. But okay. Actually, this is cool imagery. Okay. Okay, we saw this previously, right, I guess? Yeah, so Itadori is alive, somehow, even though they said that if, like, they would, I don't know, rip his heart off, 
he would die if he would like switch with Sukuna, but he didn't. So guys, I think your theories are kind of not perfected. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe Sukuna is enjoying that and left Itadori alive. Which would also make sense. Well, we'll see, I guess. I really like the light in this opening. Like the way they're using light is very nice. And it can do a lot. Yeah, lightning in this opening is very good. And there are a lot of very interesting characters. So, I'm interested, absolutely. At least there is Sukuna, who do who I do like, and that other Welland dude. I mean, look at him. And he's voiced by my favorite voice actor. Oh, come on. So, what's this will be about? I like the ribcage of the rain. Visual. And him sitting on a freaking pile of skulls. skulls. I mean, you are still here, so you are not technically dead? I don't know. But at least he's trying. At least he's trying. Still don't know if you can really do anything. But Itadori is really very good at fighting. I still keep forgetting that. He should be very fast. Kido. <laughs> yeah. Show him his place. Oh! Come on. Yeah, seems... Okay, so he took him there. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again, someone really, really needs me. I'm, I'm going a little bit back because I wasn't paying attention. And so he brought him there. Yeah, I want to know more about this. Okay. Yeah, so he kind of saved him. Hmm, so they are kind of like stuck in this state. Hmm, he's interested. Okay, conditions. <laughs> okay. Right. I mean, he is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. This is... Okay, pack. Okay, so he is having conditions for Itadori. Maybe because he wants to have some kind of fun. Mm, true. He knows a lot about it. I mean, he's very old. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder what he's planning. I 
I really wouldn't. About that, Itadori, do you really sing? Do you really sing? You stupid idiot! You stupid, stupid. Tell me, tell me more. Hmm, I wanna know more. Hmm. 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 All generation stuck up generation. Okay, I like this. Yeah, you need to do it a long way, but clever one. Mm hmm. That's very clever. <laughs> I could imagine. Okay. He's apparently a very good teacher. Now he's a little bit pissed. Oh, don't worry. He is okay. He's absolutely okay. Well. He's very okay. I mean, that's reasonable. You really say that I thought he's going to die so easily because of Sukuna. <laughs> she really wanted to dissect him. I mean, that's... Makes sense. Also, I noticed tattoos on Sukuna's hands. W was I talking about it before? Maybe. I think there are um, prisoners' tattoos. Like, a long time ago, how it worked in Japan. I mean, tattoos were usually for criminals. So, criminals tattoos or something like that so they could like when they see the person and see the tattoos oh yeah he's a criminal hmm. Sukuna is probably laughing inside oh god damn oh okay okay Okay, backstory. Mm -hmm. That might be from different reasons. I don't know. He is apparently very strong. Killing him. Mm -hmm. This dude is very clever. I mean, if the person is strong, don't kill him. Probably would make... It would be way worse. Just seal him like they did with Tsukuma because he was too strong. Okay. This guy is just ditching. This guy is excited. Yeah. Chill. Yeah. I said chill. Yeah, you are a little bit problematic. We are going to burn few people. Why not? If someone survives, they are going to have a trauma for life. <laughs> it's like, at least it wouldn't be a nice place we burn. Because I, I would enjoy nice places. I don't know. Oh, really? I'm not sure if he's telling the truth, though.
Okay, so I guess nobody's going to have a trauma because they all died. Growled nicely, I guess. I don't know if that dude is not lying to, to them. He seems to be very clever. Maybe too clever. But he's grouping with them. Who is he? I want to know more about him. Oh, oh okay. Oh, he's telling this woman. Hmm. That's nice of him. At least something. It's better than nothing. I mean, probably he was in jail, so nobody gives a break. Life sucks. I will probably be saying that a lot. Okay, are you racing? Okay, then. Oh, casual class. Cool. Oh, they don't know if that is alive. That would be probably shocking. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of their job to exterminate curses. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Okay, this looks interesting. He is really good at close combat. Okay. I guess some like basics. I'm not very sure about it. He loves a tough laugh. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, you have a interesting person inside of you. see about it I mean it would be dangerous for him to be uh, the strongest it would be very dangerous okay this is cool <sighs> okay Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, didn't do much. A little better. Okay, so you you need to find what you are good at. <laughs> well, existential crisis. It's not that easy. Okay. I mean, yeah, that one is very powerful, so he probably would be able to do a lot of interesting shit. Just improve that, man. Hmm, I guess. Because he have Sukuna inside of him, so it's probably not that hard. I 
And that we are doing this while these people horribly burn to death. Hmm. Or maybe being scared. Oh, he said we are right. Someone is talking about him. I think. I'm very interested about that event. Might be interesting. Some pretty cool weapons. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that would probably be good. Bad. I could have imagined. Oh, that's a torture. I have a bad feeling about it. Watching B movies. Horror movies, be horror movies with this thing. For so long, that's a torture. And secondly, I don't know what this thing will be doing, so... Yeah. Okay. Well, I feel a lot of beating in the future. Okay, so not only horrors, but B-movies. Well, uh, that would be really bad. Okay. Yeah, you need to learn how to control it, I guess. Because that could be, I guess, a little bit tiring. I guess not. Right? God, yeah. Seriously, man. Interesting. He's a carrier. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, probably. He definitely felt some interest. What are you doing? He talked about shadows, right? So I don't know how he's doing it, but he's doing something with the shadows, calling them from the shadows. Okay. okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you... <gasps> We don't have a time. <laughs> what the hell? This conversation. My big love. Oh my god. He's eating that. Oh Jesus Christ. This. Yeah, I felt it. You are too much into that. Well then don't drink soda. But this is training. Dumb. 
I'm not really sure. Maybe it will. Absolutely. But he doesn't remember that, I guess. Absolutely. But Gojo might trigger. He's been doing this for a very long time, so he might know there is some something bad in the air. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Gojo is so mysterious. I like that. This poor dude is so... <gasps> poor man, chill, for God's sake. Okay, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, he just sends it. Makes sense. Ah, uh, the dude was saying, like, you might be able to kill him. I don't trust that guy. How could you, like... How could you even trust him? <laughs> For real? Seriously? Okay then. There should be something, I guess, after the credits. The song is pretty good though. Is there? Okay. What is this? <laughs> N nice pun. Oh, okay. I'm not watching. <laughs> okay, then this was an interesting episode. Very interesting one. Yeah. Very interesting one. Actually, I'm kind of starting to like these episodes. Maybe because there was a lot of gojo. And there was like also that start about Sukuna and Yuji. Oh my god, Yuji said yes to his proposition. Oh my god. <sighs> Did you really think you could win against him when he is such a strong being inside of you, Curse? Oh my god. Is that right? Now he... Oh, that really feels bad. I mean, they have contract now, but I don't really have a good feeling about that. But I guess Gojo now knows about it because he's clever. So he definitely figured out something is not feeling right. But question is what they, you know, compromise about. Yeah, Sukuna definitely wants to have some kind of fun, obviously. And he sends something in Megumi. So I wonder... Yeah, Megumi needs some kind of determination. He needs to believe in himself more. So I wonder what he will be doing. Yeah, because now he's definitely trying. Yeah. And Gojo, Gojo. He is an interesting one. I really like his personality. Yeah, like, I'm starting to like him a lot. He's mysterious. I like, like, how he does things. He's strong. He's really cool. But he's definitely planning something. Like, <laughs> he was like, yeah, I could kill them, but uh, that would be still problematic. So I wouldn't achieve what I want. God damn. These stuck-up guys at the top, annoying as hell. It's always all stuck-up guys. Ugh. Seriously, the old generation people come on so he's teaching these kids to make a better generation you know but i wonder like if he's not planning something else also i don't know he's fishy and mysterious maybe because i can't see his eyes 
you know, like eyes are very important when you want to notice someone's emotions and if they are telling the truth and if they are lying and even though like this is anime so duh but it's still like not being able to see his eyes is probably why I feel so suspicious of him <laughs> which makes sense but he's hella suspicious oh my god <laughs> but I like him and apparently he sensed this guy so he let that dude, other dude, to go away, which is good. He saved his life. <laughs> because this curse was apparently going for Gojo. I guess it sensed him or something, maybe. Because that other dude was telling him that uh, he might be able to defeat him. He definitely lied, right? I feel like he rapped. I feel like he lied to see. Maybe. He's definitely planning. Like seeing. You know. Puppeteering. Yeah, he's clever. Hmm. Does anyone know that that place burned to a crisp and so many people died there? Like any of these sorcerers? Probably no, right? <laughs> Maybe now they will know. Yeah, that was a nice contrast. <laughs> so, ouch. And Itadori now is trying to learn how to use... Uh, I don't exactly know how they call it, curse energy. <laughs> uh, so he needs to, because it's dependable on the emotions, he needs to learn how to kind of work with his emotions, how to control them, how to use a uh, curse energy with emotions. So that might be interesting. I, mean, I wonder. Well, he has Sukuna inside of him, so he's probably going to be able to do a lot of interesting shit. Yeah. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Actually, funnily enough, not like, not any fight happened. And you can say nothing much happened. But I feel like I like this episode the most. Yeah, the way it was directed, the way it was done. Some informations we got. Yeah, the progress. I'm going to give this episode 8 out of a 10. Which is funny. <laughs> I guess I definitely enjoyed it a lot. I guess I'm getting into this. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, 8 out of a 10. And I'm interested in this fight, I guess. Yeah, and that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.